Hey guys, I'm Joe. I'm going to be walking you through how Fulcrum handles a few aspects of quality control. One thing to keep in mind is that these quality metrics are pervasive. It's not just one module. It's across the entire site. It's across your entire business. So I might be jumping around a bit. We can start off with traceability. So here I see a receiving record for an item I purchased to a job. I can see the lot number that I assigned to it, and I can see the material cert that I associated with that item as well. Once that material has been picked to the job, I can download and print out my certification from here. Maybe you need to create a certification that you need to send to the customer for an item you created. We can do that under the same certification tab, and this is what our certification looks like. This is how we can tie all of your raw material certs to jobs for an easy rollup and allow you to create certs for the things that you make. Let's jump into job tracking and take a look at how we can capture quality control data during production. The whole idea here is to capture the quality data as it's happening in production and give shop team members warnings if they're drifting out of tolerance. We can set up pre, in process and post operation checkpoints. And we can even set these checkpoints up as gates in the operation so that your operators cannot move forward until the, their checkpoint is complete. Looking at the in process checkpoint, we set up different intervals here to be checked. We can see warnings as we drift out of the tolerance set and checkpoint itself. Here's a graph to see how we trend over time. When things go wrong, your shop team can also generate a non-conformance report directly from job tracking by selecting this here. Those reports will show up here on the NCR grid. This page serves as a dashboard to track progress of NCRs through different stages as well as a report to analyze causes. NCRs can be tied to corrective actions shown in a grid over here, and tasks can be created all in an effort to make sure everything stays on track. Another type of reporting we have is scrap reporting. In this view, we're looking at a weekly scrap per equipment. This heat map helps quickly identify areas of focus based on the value or quantity of scrap. Clicking here, we can drill into a particular area and see all the jobs where scrap was reported. Clicking into the job itself and heading to the scrap tab, we can see more details related to that scrap event itself. These are just a few ways that Fulcrum helps track quality data, but we're also tracking data on returns, vendor issues, on-time delivery, and more. To learn more about Fulcrum, check out our other videos.